Today we are going to visit Prasad Bhante Srai. Uh, it translates to Women's Fortress, but the original name is supposed to be Bhante Srai, right? Sam? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we're we're going to be driving past a village called Prada. And Prada is known for the Nomad Jok, which is Khmer noodle. I always stop by this one place to eat a Khmer noodle, Nomad Jok. And I know the name of Prasad Bhante Srai, 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 Srai. Everybody got hot, so they're gonna chill at the pool and take it slow today. But we, we team, we team no sleep. We don't sleep. Here we go again. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Romay. Let's go, Romay. Let's go, Romay. Okay, this temple here is called Prasad Prairup. We're taking it from the car because we're just trying to rush to Prasad Pati today. Uh, Prasad Prairup is believed to be a crematory. Um, they believe that royalty back then or big government official or advisor to the king came and um, you know when they pass away they get they came and um, be cremated here. Um, it's actually very magnificent. I climbed up there a few times but this time we're gonna skip it because we, we we're short on time but it is beautiful equally beautiful. There's not a lot of car rings I don't think this prasad was actually finished because if you look at the walls um, and the pillars, uh, there's not much carvings on it. It's just a stack of stones together. Okay, prasad prairu. So this is Pratna. Pratna, like I said, is known for the number jok. All these little stalls have delicious number jok and now it's known for uh, a cow turn out, eh? yeah. a cow turn out, which is a palm, a ripe palm fruit um, cake, I, I guess I would say that, uh, but we're probably going to be stopping on the way back. that they extracted and they mix it with flour. Rice um, flour, coconut cream and some sugar goes in here. And then, uh, yeah. 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 And here's a, here's a palm fruit, the ripe palm fruit. It's like a custard texture. Mm -hmm. Come on, put that on. Don't that. 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 
So pretty much, my yum some kind of So pretty much, when she finished her batter, she put it in here, and then we bring it to the steamer. Okay, steamer, Oh, oh, my God. 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 Oh, my We are entering Bante Israi. Did you hear that sound? That's the sound. That's the sound of uh, Rai, the sound of cicada. It's on top of the tree. Mong sa lap na yum. Checkpoint. Ani ke trau check mo. They checking to see if we're Cambodians or foreigner. Cause foreigner have to buy a pass. Cambodian is free. We have arrived to Bante Sray. Behind me is the beautiful Prasad Bante Sray. Prasad Bante Sray is smaller compared to Angkor Wat, Kapurum and Bayan. But the carving on each wall is very intricate, it's very detailed. This temple was built in the 10th century. It's the only temple in Cambodia that's not built by kings. Usually temples are built by kings. This one is built by a very close minister to the king. I cannot pronounce his name at the moment, but it's the only temple that is built by a minister to the king, like a close, a very close advisor to the king. Bante um, Sray is the original name, but now it's called Bante Sray. And I have an umbrella. I have a backpack full of water, so <laughs> it's really hot. It's at least like I'm, I'm saying like at least 95 degrees right now. So we're gonna go in right now, and you hear the, the sound of the cicada, Ray. Uh, so they can hear the sound of the cicada.
tiếp tục chúng mình cũng đặt một bình Sáng xưa nên mình được ít nữa You see, I love the carving in this temple. It's very detailed, very beautiful. Come on, we get us out.
Prasad Mantesrai is smaller compared to Angkor Wat. It's actually older than Angkor Wat by like two or three centuries. It's smaller, but it's one of my favorite because it's not that big when you go and it's not that grand, but every little detail in the carving is so magnificent. And my sister always asks to come here. It is a little bit of a drive. And then when we go back, we're gonna eat Numba Chok. Again, we passed by the Numba Chok, but we had a big breakfast, so we weren't hungry yet. So we're gonna take it slow. By the time we get there, hopefully we'll be hungry. And I can't wait to eat Numba Chok Mai.